What is going on YouTube? One only extra here. Welcome to the channel. We are in a 2017 Acura NSX. Chuck, <laughs> he's letting me drive his bad boy. We're going up the mountain. Not only that, I got another surprise for you of another NSX we're gonna be testing out here today. So stick around. beautiful 2017 Acura NSX. I've reviewed one. I put the link to that video down below. But the reason why I want to talk about this car a little bit is because it has a JB4 tune in it. Uh, again, I mentioned before when I rode with Chuck, he also has that downpipe. So I kind of wanted to see what that JB4 tune box is all about. Oh, all oh, the turn. Oh my God, the G's, honey. <laughs> Best thing. Oh boy, is that good. Going around those turns and just holding it, the car just wants to stay in the line that you're choosing. Ooh, the steering is so freaking precise. So much like the supercharger whine that I like to get into and then let off to get the weed. This turbo is with the downpipe and everything. <laughs> it's intoxicating. You have to turn it into a child. It's amazing. Now there's no mechanical connection to the brakes. It's actually all electronic. All you have to do with these brakes is just touch them. If you think about slowing down and you just barely brush your foot over the brake, it does it. Now let's talk about this transmission for a second because holy crap is it amazingly smooth. Fifth, fourth, third. <laughs> Did the camera move once? No, it didn't. Because this transmission is insane. You know, I talk about bikes that have really smooth quick shifters and stuff like that. <laughs> I'd say this, it would be likened to my Aprilia quick shifter where it's just butter one way or the other at right. <laughs> now part of what makes the NSX an amazing everyday supercar is one, the ride quality. It's a little bumpy but you don't notice it here. Not only that, it's actually very quiet in here. You know, there's other than the turbo noise, there's not a lot of road noise, you don't have a lot of tire noise, there's not a lot of wind noise. It's almost, I don't wanna say luxury, but <laughs> it's just a really fun, beautiful, and just easy place to be. Here, I've done a review on this 2017. This particular one has a JB4 tune. It's got another couple boxes in it that make it even more peppy and amazing, but it's not about this one. Oh no, oh no. Today is more about this guy right here. I finally get my hands on this beautiful Long Beach Blue Pearl. And this particular one, according to its serial numbers, was one of the first ones in this color. So that makes this car even more rare. When you look at this car in a successor, the newer NSX, there's some styling cues, sure, but this thing, this car is timeless. It's not gonna age 2002. In 20 years, it's still gonna look amazing. We are in a 2002 Honda Acura NSX. And oh boy. <laughs> Woo. Okay, immediate first impressions. Uh, it's gotta be revved. Has to be revved. They told me 5,000 and above. Oh my God, the grip. Uh, it's where it likes to be. The brakes, uh, I, I like a little more touch to them, a little more feel to them. I push them, nothing happens, you gotta really get on them for them to feel something. Uh, <laughs> but it's all about the steering of this car. And you know, much like the car that I just hopped out of, this car feels just as precise and in tune. If anything, it's more so. You know, we step away from all the computers and electronics and everything, and we step into, it's you and the car. We step into mechanics. Ugh. 
And of course, it's a six speed. All right, so let's give this some beans. There we go. You know, the VTEC kick in. Oh boy, the grip. The grip, the grip, the grip. This thing carries so much speed. The throws are super, super short and precise. The way this car picks up speed is phenomenal. It's not super intimidating. Like the new NSX picks up speed so savagely. This car is just beautifully maintained. Like that was a shift down the second, went to the third. Oh, the front end feels planted. What a fun freaking car. Woo. <laughs> You know, if you lean on the engine a little bit to do some engine braking, uh, it's actually a lot better mixed with the brakes. Oh boy. <laughs> so good. And the thing I love about this car, it's you and it. Like there's not a lot of driver aids on this car and <laughs> it lets you be you. Like, it doesn't flatter you. If you mess up, you'll know it. But man, the gearbox is very easy right off the bat. Like, you, I feel comfortable driving this manual straight away. Most cars take several, several miles, a couple minutes, maybe an hour to really get used to and get a good feel for what the clutch engagement, this engagement is. This car, instant. There's a VTEC that kicks in. Oh, <laughs> VTEC! <laughs> oh, the heel toe is really easy in this because the brakes and the gas are so close together. Oh. As you saw with my driving experience, the steering is phenomenal. You break in, go into a turn, there's confidence. You feel that weight in the front end, there's so much feedback through the tires and the steering wheel. And even though this is electric steering, it almost feels hydraulic and almost even just straight up mechanical. Oh my God, is this transmission good. You know, we drive newer cars with the six speed and they take some effort. This car being 15 years old, seamless shifts, it's super easy to figure out when you drive it, and uh, it's just incredible. One of the biggest draws of this car, aside from its aesthetics, is it is absolutely stunning. It's, it's really the driving experience. You know, this motor, it's a 3.2 V6, and it produces around 290 horsepower. I drove that Evo 10MR, and that also had 290 horsepower. The way this pick, picks up, it's totally different. It just slowly builds speed in the most calm way. Now we look at brakes on cars, you know how I am about them. These have been upgraded and they have a decent feel. There's a little pedal travel where nothing really happens and then they start to grab, but because this car has so much engine braking, they work very well in conjunction with each other. You see where the NSXs have come from, now you see where they're at. And you might say, well this isn't an NSX. That is. No. You think about what this NSX did, it challenged the supercars of the day. People want to compare this to a Lamborghini, Ferrari, what have you, like a Huracan or an Audi R8. This car doesn't compare to those. Yes, it's in the price range, but it's a hybrid electric. That is a Porsche 918, McLaren P1, Ferrari LaFerrari. The new NSX is challenge what a supercar is nowadays. <laughs> what a freaking blast I had today. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Mark, for allowing me to drive your NSXs because they are in freaking credible. Look at these guys. <laughs> so with that, I hope you all have a good one. I'm out.